a magician's or the magician's review. Now, this is sci-fi's new TV show, and sci-fi has been hitting home runs this year. They started with Dark Matter. That was a great show. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. It's on Netflix. Then they came out with The Expanse just a couple months ago. That was another really fun show to watch. If you, if you want to see what it's about, go ahead and click on our review. It's somewhere in there. And now they have The Magicians coming out. Now, we did a little story about this about a year ago, year and a half ago. It's somewhere up there. If you want to check it out, it's up there. It's um, magical. It is magical. It is magical. But this show is based on the books of the same name. Um, and it's kind of the, the most simple way to say it is it's a Harry Potter with postgrads instead of adolescents. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> it's like an okay. adult version of Harry Potter. So pretty cool. You know, you can't, can't complain about that. So let's jump right into the review. Uh, we'll start off with the plot. I'll give you a brief synopsis. So Quentin Coldwater, the main character of the show... Um, is admitted into a magical school. I believe it's called Breakhaven, Brookhaven, something like that. Break Bills, Break Bills. That's what the name of the university is. And he's pretty much, they, they give you like 10 minutes of him saying, oh, I don't fit in anywhere. They have an interesting scene of in the beginning, him being in a mental institution. So you can tell things aren't quite right in his world. Um, but yeah, so he doesn't fit anywhere in anywhere. And then all of a sudden, oh, hey, there's this magical university and they want you. And they also kind of drop slight hints that he might be a very, very special person. Now, they don't say why quite as of yet, but he might have uh, be more special than some of the other magicians. At Perhaps this because he's actually crazy and all this is just in his mind. Could be. Maybe maybe he wakes up still in the mental institution. If this turns out know. like Shutter Island, that would actually be I awesome. Would I would love that. But, but I know well, a lot of people and, will probably get pissed, but yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> a TV but yeah. series of Shutter Island, I don't know. But I think it would be cool. Anyway. So he's introduced into this world of magic. Now, there are several different specializations of magic. I believe there's four or five, you know, like uh, psychic powers, telekinetic powers, intelligence powers, like f controlling elements and stuff like that. So there's there they break the magic down into classifications and you usually study one classification or one specialty of magic or the other. Um, and they do hint at an ominous presence actually within the first two episodes. I think at the end of the first episode, they show said, uh, you know, malevolent presence out there. So it seems pretty interesting plot so far. So good. I've enjoyed everything. So um, the setting set in upstate New York, not much special about that. It's kind of like X-Men for magicians. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so it's York. like, Upstate New York. So it's probably like one of the, uh, like what we used to see in a lot of the um, teen movies and high school movies. It's it's a big castle looking school or no, something. No, it's, right? it's actually looks like a university. Looks like a it's modern a, it's, university. It's, it's modern a legit building. modern university. <laughs> yeah. So, but it, you know, I mean, upstate New York, it's close enough to New York City. And apparently the only way to get there is to walk through magical doors or to have a key to a door that opens to a magical place. So, yeah, you. you it's not easy to find it. So, but it's a pretty cool setting. I enjoyed that so far. Um, the acting and directing, as long as the, as well as the dialogue, the actors are good. I've enjoyed the cast so far. There are a couple moments where it's just like, eh, people don't really talk like that. But most of that is in the beginning, where he's just trying to figure out where he fits in life. Hmm. And so, after he gets to the magical part, everything kind of flows better. I guess it's because I can't criticize like, oh, people don't really talk like that when you're talking about magic. So. Um, hmm. You know, because I don't know how people talk when they're talking. Oh, just... This is how this spell goes, you know. It, it sounds like you know, a problem that you often see early in, in even in good shows, is getting through the setup phase when you're always going. Awkward. Yeah, so they probably really, they wanted to focus on the magic part, and they're like, okay, how do we, well, let's get all this stuff so he could get there. All mm -hmm. right, whatever, quickly did whatever to get there. And they're like, one thing to, to magic yeah. to work on, so... Them. But yeah, so and I'm pretty much getting through that. But the actors do a good job portraying everything. It feels believable if that was happening to you. And again, you know, it, it they say it well. The delivery of the lines, it's not stone or it's not overacted. It's just it's just well done. It's pretty well acted so far. And so that, that also goes to directing and dialogue and everything. Everything kind of fits well. It doesn't feel out of place. It feels like it's going in the right direction. Because there's one thing I hate about movies and TV shows it's when they just, it just doesn't feel right the way they're delivering lines. Uh, you watch a movie like Birdman, that Oscar winning movie. 
people don't really talk like that. They don't say lines a mile a minute. Like, and then did you, did you see that? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh, you saw that? Oh, I saw that. You know, people don't talk like that, and they don't deliver lines like that. So. Some of the big lines in the in Star Wars prequels were like that. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. You're yeah. breaking so my heart, it, Andy. You, you just killed thousands of children. You're breaking my heart. Like, oh, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it feels good. It feels good. So that's that's a good thing. Um, so everything leading up to the show feels good. The plot's good. The setting's good. The actors and directing is good. The dialogue is good. So what's my overall? Overall, it's a really cool world being developed. Again, it's the kind of adult Harry Potter. I really enjoy that aspect of it, too, because, uh, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed all the Harry Potter books. Now, I read those when I was like 14, 15, 16. But this is just like what I would read if I was 20, 25 to 30, you know, which, hey, you know, I'm in that range. So it's for me. Yay. Yay. But it, it's definitely the, the characters are engrossing. I, I care about the good guys. I don't really care about the bad guys so much. Now, again, I've only seen about the first two episodes because that's all that's been released so far. But it, it, it all works very well. So overall, I'm going to give this show a three and a half out of five so far. I can see it getting better. Or if the story goes a little off the rails and stops being so believable. Again, I understand this is the world of magic and I'm using believable with this. But if it starts going off the rails, um, yeah, it could change. But as of right now, three out of five. Go ahead and check it out. If you haven't checked it out, uh, it's probably on demand. I'm sure you can watch it on Sci-Fi's website. So watch it and then hit us up. Let us know what you think. Did you like the show as much as I did? Do you think it's going a different direction? I, I mean, do you agree or disagree? Let me know down below. Of course, on at Words My Face on Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook, and Words My Face.com. Always good ways of getting a hold of us.